MIDI chord entry. MIDI chord entry as pertaining to Jammer Pro 6. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I uh, um, was thinking about using Jammer Professional 6 to uh, as in, enter some chords into it. You know, copy paste some chords from either internet lead sheets or lyric chord sheets and just paste them into Jammer Professional and create some automatic background and I like the versatility of Jammer Professional and how you can actually get it to compose on the fly so I was going to do that and so I selected a song from my my repertoire uh, Agnes Day by uh, Michael W. Smith. I basically put this chart together for my worship team and um, it's in the key of A and I thought okay I have some chords there. I initially found chord chart on the internet and uh, um, after looking at the details of it it really didn't give me the nuances inside the chord structure to, to uh, give the melody flow so what I'm going to do is just use Jammer Pro. So I'm going to open up a new file. So file, new. Uh, I will select normal from the uh, select templates. So normal selected, set OK. I'm going to open up the measure view by clicking measure. I will establish the uh, uh, key signature right now it's in the key of C and if I scroll down and you see across the bottom of the page where it says change the key signature well on this drop down menu that I did a right mouse click click uh, near the uh, uh, time signature it opened up this screens and I'm going to change the key signature by selecting that this little window comes up here it says the key root presently is the root of C. I'm going to change the key root of the scale to A to reflect the key signature. It gives me several modes to pick from, or I should just say seven modes which to pick from. I'm going to stick with the Ionian uh, major mode because that will help it in the composition phase of this document as I play a lot of leading tones here. So I'll say OK to that and I'm going to also change the key signature because presently I am not exactly sure how to go about putting triplets in to this particular program. I probably can get close but I want it more exact so what I'm going to do is change the time signature which is right underneath where you change the key signature. So it comes up the left portion is the upper portion of the key signature or the number of beats per measure so I'm going to change that to six and I'm going to leave four as is, which means the quarter note gets one count. And I'll say OK to that, and that changes. So I changed two items there. And so let's begin the heavy lifting. So the first chord is A, so I'll just go with that. So on this, you basically select the first beat, hit Enter, play the chord, A and I'll do that A which is the A over E which is the way it's in the music and I'll go over to the second beat and I'll do this chord uh, enter first and then this chord and it gives me a sus 4 6 9 beautiful hit enter and go to the next one and I'll type the upper one, which is the way I like to play it, which is actually uh, um, a C sharp minor over A, which is actually A major seven. Tab over, and I'm going to use the old straight D over A. 
and then I'll go over a uh, beat and a half to represent the A and I'll play that first enter then play okay go to the next measure the first beat of that measure this particular which is going to be the first beat that's also an A so I'll leave it alone from a chord structure tab over to the second beat and I'm going to play that same uh, um, B minor over A enter play it third beat enter play it let's see here and let's see in the second half yeah, that was the third beat oh and then the fourth beat is going to be the E over A I'm thinking about that and uh, um, yeah I'll go with it E over A enter E over A and it came out uh, A major 9 as I think about it that's accurate and uh, um, then the second a beat and a half away and then play A enter Try it again. Straight A. Okay. So on the third beat, let me go ahead and put that in there. It's, it's a little bit, I like the flow of it. So I'll do it. I'll leave the A as is. Second beat, the same thing again. Enter first. Third beat. Enter. Now I like this way this one goes. I'm gonna do a flow up uh, with it. Uh, no, I'll just do. I do the day. Uh, yeah, I'll do the flow up with it. So, enter B over A. A, E over A. Enter first. Tab. Enter. Type. Hit. Yeah, I'll go with that. And matter of fact, I'm going to just try something a little bit different on that one here. Let's see. Um, let's. Uh, uh, I'm gonna move it up. I'm put it over a B, just to see. Oh yeah. Tab over. This is a A over uh, C sharp. Excuse me, E over C sharp in the root. And this one be uh, uh, okay, and then it returns back, and each one of these gets two beats. And I'll, since the first chord doesn't change for two beats, I'll leave that in E over A, enter. And then D over A. Enter. And then A. And it repeats the first two measures. So I'm going to copy that by doing, selecting the first beat and the first beat of the third measure. And then Control C. Making sure everything is selected pretty much anyway these are the things that I need uh, copy all track properties include track events include tempo changes include time signatures include key signatures 
uh, include band changes, include chords, feels, drums, progression, style, comments, lyrics, and a whole bunch of other things. And then I'll go and select five through the first hit of seven. I did a control V. I copy with a control C and I'm pasting with a control V. Paste. And uh, um, that's these two bars here. And uh, uh, evidently, re yeah, okay. So it repeats what I did here to here. So the first beat of five, first, there it is. Control C, okay, then seven to nine, first beat, paste, control C, control V, and looks like a mirror image of each other, and it won't be complete unless I give it a groove, and I'm going to do a wild groove for this one, I'm going to go, uh, first of all, I should select where I want to put it, first measure uh, now click the B and the B gives me a band so I'm selecting my band I want easy swing this is jazz easy swing and I'll go with the uh, uh, second groove groove 2 I could audition it but I didn't and uh, now I want to spread the groove across the chords in order to do that I'd select first beat measure one uh, first hit measure nine everything highlights go up here and hit the compose button which are the two notes two eighth notes let it compose Let it go through a couple of times. Now that's different. Uh, I suppose if I put the, the melody over the top of it, and uh, uh, that would seal the deal. So I'm going to go ahead and say complete because that's exactly what I wanted to see if what could happen and let's go back to the beginning of the song unselect everything and let's play it and see what it sounds like maybe I'll play a little piano to go with it too just very little That's interesting. I like it. 